Close the fuel oil inlet valve. Close the cooling water inlet valve. Close the cooling water outlet valve. Loosen the screws from the cooling water outlet pipe. Remove the cooling water outlet pipe from the engine. Remove the fuel oil high pressure pipes from the engine. Remove the high pressure pipe. See procedure 9081. Remove the oil return pipe from the exhaust valve. Loosen the drain oil pipe. Dismount the starting air pipe from the cylinder cover. Dismount the control air pipe from the starting valve. Remove the protective jacket from the intermediate pipe between the exhaust receiver and the exhaust valve. Remove the intermediate pipe. Remove the protective caps from the cylinder cover nuts. Place eight hydraulic jack supports, one around each nut, and screw the eight hydraulic jacks onto the studs. See procedure 9131. Connect the high pressure pump to the jacks by means of the distributor block and the high pressure hoses. Start the hydraulic pump and increase the pressure as stated in datasheet 101. Loosen the nuts by applying the Tommy bar through the slots in the hydraulic jack supports. Relieve the pressure. Remove the hydraulic tools from the studs. Unscrew the nuts. Hook the engine room crane on the lifting attachment on top of the exhaust valve and lift away the cylinder cover. 